Hello and thank you for joining me for lecture 3a today. We are going to be talking about, um, let's see, how to identify the characteristics of creative thought. Um, so we begin to talk about the process over the product in our last lecture. So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about a little bit more about, and I touched on this the other day, about how creativity is an attitude, not an aptitude. And um, that creativity is a, is a skill. So let's begin to look at this from another perspective, okay? For young children, it may be helpful for us to view creativity in a way of identifying and solving problems. Creativity is a different way of viewing the world, which there is no right or wrong answers, only possibilities. And that's the key right there, is for you to understand that creativity brings, excuse me, my glasses need to be clean. Creativity brings about numerous possibilities for children to come up with different ideas. And that's what we want to spawn in them. We want th to give them the boundaries that they need to explore. But then through our um, classroom management, which that's what that is. And let me give you an example of that. You know, um, one of your peers wrote me an email, and I got it this morning, and they said, Miss Marie, I don't really understand what you're saying when you say, you know, that we need to give children all these possibilities. And she said, you know, I just don't think that I can put a glue bottle down and paint and feathers and 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 say okay you all can just be creative and do whatever you want okay let's reel this in just a little bit okay when i talk about giving boundaries and creativity what i'm saying is is i'm saying that you are in control of how much glue you put out. You are in control of how much paint and which colors you put out. Okay, does that make sense? For instance, I'm not going to put a whole bowl of glue out on a table with two-year-olds. I'm only asking for a huge mess if I do that. So what I need to do is I need to have, um, I've seen teachers take the lids off of like a Pepsi bottle and put glue inside of that and give the child a Q-tip so that they can take the Q-tip and put the glue on. So you are actually using your classroom management skills to give them a boundary in their glue but you're not saying to the child this is how you glue the whisker on the bunny okay so please understand where i'm coming from yes i do understand how to control a classroom and how to give the children the same um, the glue, the paint, but also I'm in charge of those. That's what positive guidance is, is that when we become in charge of their choices, but we do it in a positive manner. That's what we mean when we talk about positive guidance. <clears throat> so let's talk about creativity in that sense, okay? It's an attitude, it's not an aptitude. So I don't have to have a whole bowl of glue. I can have a capsule of glue. I can also use those capsules for paint. When I was in Guatemala, this 
summer or in November actually at the Hope for Tomorrow at the orphanage that I was working in you know they didn't have all these wonderful luxurious bowl glass bowls to put glue in or they didn't have whole bottles of glue so they used um, Pepsi tops and Mountain Dew tops from that screw off of bottles and in that they put the paint they had different colors paint and the kids did a fantastic job with that and they could they use their creativity they did the same thing that a great preschool five-star preschool would in the United States except you know they used ordinary things um, to to um, to allow the kids to have this creative moment so try out new ideas try different ways of doing things and push your boundaries and explore your possibilities and realize that not everything fits into a little square box okay um, creativity is a skill a skill that requires exercise for the children to grow it's and that means you have to do it every day you have to allow this to happen every day because without practice and without the abilities to write or to make music and to sing and to dance and to paint all of those will be lost if you don't allow those to happen on a daily basis and moreover creativity is not a fixed attribute it's it's something almost anyone can develop if they have some type of degree of experience and how do we give them the experience we allow this to happen in our classroom how many of you all have been in a discussion with adults and they say I'm just not creative everyone knows that there's somebody that's probably more creative than they are but you have to be creative to live <coughs> how many of you all watch the Alaskan bush people on TV well if you don't you should just to get the experience of seeing how these people are so creative in Alaska without Walmart without big lots without the Dollar Tree I mean for Christmas they made each other gifts and it was so interesting to see the types of gifts they gave that were homemade like how they made an axe I mean I never seen anything like this and it was so interesting to watch <clears throat> how they created a um, <coughs> a greenhouse out of plastic and poles and sticks how they create their fences to keep their cows in how they built their log cabin how this one guy needed stairs and how he he built stairs those are the things that saved their life that made things so interesting oh and there was one they they just got a new cow and so they had all this cream and the mother said to the son I need a butter churner so what does he do he goes out and he gets you know they can't just go to Walmart or to southern states or or uh, tractor supply and buy this butter churner so they have to make it so he literally makes a butter churner and he does it out of a bucket and pipes with get this a toilet plunger and the toilet plunger is what he makes to go up and down in the cream to actually make the butter and then they have all this butter 
because they're using their resources. That is creativity. <coughs> and that creativity is something that has to be learned. It has to be practiced. And we have to allow our children to practice that. So next, creativity is a set of personality traits. We have to be open <coughs> to the new and to the unexpected. We have to be open that when someone says to us, I need a butter churner because I have all this cream, that we begin to think, well, how can I make a butter churner without going to Tractor Supply? You know, my mom talks about growing up on a farm when she was young. They didn't go to the store, but <clears throat> twice a month. And sometimes once a month. They lived probably um, 30 miles from the nearest town. And so the only place that they got to go was to a cousin's house, to church on Sunday, and school. That was it. And in the summertime, it was the cousin's house, maybe to a 4th of July celebration in a little town. That's just the way they lived. So every time that my grandfather would have to fix a fence or he would have to do something in the barn, he had to use the resources that he had. So my mother has this talent. She has this personality trait about her that she looks to things and she looks and has this openness that when she needs something, that she looks around at the resources that she has. That's a skill. It's also <clears throat> a skill to be highly flexible. To say, okay, I can use this, or I could use this, or I could do this, or I can do this. Creativity is also learning how to be flexible. People that are so rigid in their thoughts, they downplay their creativity because they don't want to think outside the box. And that's the great thing about creativity. Um, <clears throat> so you have to have curiosity. You have to have flexibility. You have to have sensitivity to problems. You have to redefine what, how something should be. You're open to new thoughts. You have to have insight. Those are all characteristics of creative thought. Creativity is also a set of environmental conditions. In other words, we set the stage for the children to be creative through our environment. And we're going to talk about what the environments began to look like in our next lecture. In lecture 3C, I am going to talk about the strategies that early childhood educators can use to support creative thought. I'm going to talk about technology. I'm going to talk about the family role and the teacher's role in that as we create those environments. But right now, we're dealing with your characteristics, your mind thought process. So we have to reflect on how do we change our mindset? How do we become open with curiosity, with flexibility, with redefining, with all those original originality, thinking outside of the box? How can I get outside of the box in my thinking? 
How can I get outside of the box in my teaching? That's what we're thinking about. Okay, so your lesson or your um, assignment for this is observation 3B. So you need to set up a time where you're actually going to go into a center and you're going to sit down and you're going to watch. So your directions say um, <clears throat> that you need to ask your supervising teacher if you can observe a group doing an art exercise during free choice time. Okay, so I would probably say, you know, that it's going to be, what, 30 minutes, probably. You're going to need to make your own chart. Think about these characteristics that I've talked about. List them. And then begin to write. What? How do you see originality? How do you see flexibility? How do you see curiosity being built in children as they are given this art exercise in a free or a free in a free choice time? If you don't see it, talk about why you don't see it. That's what I'm looking for. So you're going to be writing on your chart. You're going to be writing anecdotal notes. Anecdotal notes are basically what you see and what you hear. Okay? You don't put you don't put your thoughts into it. You actually write down facts. That's what anecdotal notes are. You've got 10 categories. And that's what your assignment for Observation 3B is. It's worth 25 points, and it's due January the 26th. Okay, so this concludes Lecture 3A, so good luck.